showcase what transpired uh, yesterday at the cemetery. Words of encouragement past Mullings, and then we'll have tributes. There are some individuals who have been slated to give tributes and uh, we will make some allowances after that as well. And then at the end, uh, prayer for the family by Elder Vivid Foster. Just so everyone knows, as you can see on your screen, we are actually now streaming live on YouTube. So it's amazing that we're on YouTube, which means that individuals who are not able to join us on this platform are now able to watch on YouTube. You are being recorded as well. So that, you know, sometimes we say certain things and we don't understand uh, what we say until we see what we said or heard what we said. You will be recorded. It's being recorded. And by the way, if you have a chance or you know anyone right now who wanted to be here and they're not able to be here, you can go right ahead and tell them to go on YouTube and, and, and look for the celebration of life of Cuthbert Adamson. Celebration of life of Cuthbert Adamson on YouTube. You search that and you should be able to find the link that will have uh, uh, everything that's happening here. So people all over the world can, can watch. Um, and it's, it's a remarkable thing that this is actually happening. The recording has ended on, on the uh, Zoom and it's now being recorded on YouTube. So again, let me take this opportunity on behalf of the entire family. We're so grateful that the family has afforded us the privilege this evening to share in this very, very wonderful uh, occasion to celebrate the life of someone that we all admire, we all appreciate, and we all espouse to be like in many ways. And so as we celebrate the life of uh, Cuthbert Adamson, again, we want to welcome you. Uh, Elder Foster, we are now live on YouTube. Do you want to say special welcome and then introduce uh, the pastor who will give the opening remarks? Okay, we just want to welcome all of us on the this virtual platform. Again, we just want to thank God for this privilege that he has opened so we all can share in this very special celebration of the life of a gentleman who knew his God well. He was a God man, he was a humble person. And we, we, we are mourning his loss, the loss because he was such a, an individual who you could interact with. This person just knows how to speak to somebody. You know, he was really a godly person. And for him to go, it is so hard to say goodbye. But we thank God for, for, for the words of, uh, in Philippians, 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16, you know, that the Lord says that he will come with a shout, with the voice of the archangels and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. So this is the hope we have that he will be raised in the first resurrection. And if we are faithful, we will see him again. This is a comforting thought that we all should cherish, that we will see our love cut again. Thank you very much. At this time, we will welcome Pastor Leighton Hines. He is presently the pastor for the Christiana District of Churches, and these churches include the Mispa Seventh-day Adventist Church, that church Cutty played, uh, the Hibernia SDA Church, Robinson SDA Church. He was also one of our players, keyboard players, and also the Christiana Church. So pastor has four churches in which he supervised, and we are happy that he has joined Robbins Hall at this time, and we welcome him to this platform as he shares with us uh, the opening remarks. Pastor, we welcome you at this time, and we pray that God's hand will rest on you, and as you are called to this great ministry, a ministry that you call men to Jesus Christ, that the Lord will anoint you that you will be able to carry out this great mandate to bring souls to Christ. God bless you, sir, as you come forward and say your opening comments. Over to you, Pastor. Hi. Thank you, Elder Pastor, one of our uh, outstanding elders in the, in the Robbins Hall Church. Uh, one of 
thank you for the warm words of welcome. Beautiful. Warm words of welcome. And also to our co-chairman, Mr. Omar Palmer. I want to say good evening. Good evening, everyone. Uh, those who are joining us on the Zoom platform and those who are on the YouTube platform, they are indeed, <clears throat> we are indeed happy uh, that we have this medium in which we can, you know, come together in such a time of crisis to celebrate the life of someone we, we love. You know, the Bible says, weakness, weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. We all experience the, the pain of losing a loved one. And every time a loved one dies, it's not the same. You know, you don't get accustomed to death. It's not like an injection. You become climatized to injections and you're not afraid of it anymore. Every time someone goes missing from your, your family, your Wherever you socialize, it hurts. So I want to, at this time, also extend uh, my sincere condolence to the family of the, the, the Adamson's family and, and also all the different friends and relatives who would have shared uh, that close social relationship with Brother Cuthbert. I want to assure you, beloved friends, that as long as we are still in this world and we experience what life has, it will come with death. And so we are looking for that time in which death will die because death has an expiry date. And um, yeah. I can't wait to see when death is expired. Uh, so many loved ones we've lost. And I want to say to you, don't cry as those who have no hope. But let us know that once we die in Christ, and once we accept Christ, then we know that this death is only but a sleep because our eternal destiny is to dwell with Christ forever where there is no death, neither sorrow, nor pain. God bless you and all of you who are on this platform. Let us look up with confidence that one day we will see our brother again. God bless you. Thank you very much, Pastor. We very much appreciate that. Uh, at this time, we're going to ask, and just before Pastor Murray does the, the opening prayer, I'm just going to ask again, and while we welcome those who are joining us, uh, whether on the YouTube platform or in this Zoom meeting, for the celebration of the life of well lived of Cuthbert Adamson. Uh, we want to thank you again for being here with us this evening. Please be mindful of the Zoom etiquette that we will hope to pervade throughout the evening. If you do need to speak, please uh, raise your hand virtually by using the buttons uh, online or just raise your hand until one of us acknowledges you and uh, we will give you that opportunity. Other than that, it would be very smart and wise that you keep your camera muted so we don't hear the cooking in the kitchen, we don't hear the crackling uh, going on behind, underneath, or hear any crying or laughter that may not be appropriate at the moment uh, that uh, it, it takes place. So thank you so much again for being so kind uh, in allowing us to celebrate in uh, an honorable way. Uh, the life of uh, our dear friend Cuthbert Adamson. Uh, at this time, uh, Pastor Kevin Murray, uh, we would like to ask that you please go ahead on mute if you have your cameras on and uh, do that opening prayer. Okay, all right, thank you. All right, good evening to Everyone, thank you, Pastor Omar. Uh, good evening, family members, friends, uh, well wishers, and supporters of Brother Kuti. It's a joy to first to be able to meet via this platform to celebrate his life. 
uh, I have known him personally and he has, he has touched all of us, all of us, you know, he has impacted our lives directly or indirectly. And I too want to extend and express my sincere condolence to the family and pray that as you mourn, that the God of all comforts will comfort and be with you during this difficult period. Uh, let us let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you so much for this awesome privilege that you have afforded us to be here this evening to celebrate the life of our dear brother, Cuthbert Adamson. He has lived an exemplary life, very faithful, committed, and dedicated Christian. He's no longer here with us. He has gone home to sleep. He, it's a sad reality. And many of us were broken, we're, we're depressed, we're hurting. But I pray, oh God, that you will, even now, you will come by us in this moment as we meet to celebrate his life. That you will speak words of comfort to our hearts. That you will help us to recognize that even though we're mourning that we should not hope as others who have no hope because we have the blessed hope that burns within our hearts hope in the coming of our lord and savior jesus christ we look forward to that day when death itself will die when pain and sadness and and tears and all these negative emotions that come along with death will be no more. But until then, help us to be steadfast and to remain committed to you, to continue to serve you to the end, because he that shall come will come and will not tarry. So we pray, oh God, that you will allow your will and your purpose to be done in our lives and use this moment to draw us closer to you. And may we make you the center of our lives as we commit ourselves to you, we pray, with the forgiveness of our sins, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Elder Foster. Thank you so much, Pastor Murray. Uh, I wanna thank also Pastor Hines. You know, he's a pastor of our church in uh, Robbins Hall, and we are indeed very grateful. Uh, Tremendously excited for the fact that um, we have great men of God like that in our district. As, as you all know, um, we are all products of that wonderful area in Manchester called Robbins Hall, and we praise God for that. Um, we do have some individuals who are making comments in the chat room, and we will pick up those comments momentarily and highlight them for others to hear. We know some of you are not able or do not want to uh, make your presence be visible. That is fine. We're just happy that you are present to support the family at this time. So, uh, Elder Foster, would you introduce our uh, next items and, and we'll move on. You are muted. The scripture reading comes to us this afternoon from Philippians 3, 20 to 21, and this will be done by Sasha Coleman. And this will be followed by a song by Wayne Waltron. So we have Sasha for the scripture reading. Hello. Hi. Um, as Sister Foster said, we'll have our scripture reading from Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who, by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. May God add a reading, to, a blessing to the reading of his word and comfort to the hearers as well. Amen.
All right, I know we're queuing up the song uh, that we're going to play at this time. We have a very special dedication uh, from Canada for Cotty from Wayne Waldron. He's a native of St. Lucia. A dream of a city called glory so bright and so fair as i enter the gates i cried holy the angels all met me there they carried me from mansion to mansion mm, oh what a sight that i saw then i said i want to see jesus the one who died for all. I bowed on my knees and cried, Holy, Holy, cried Holy. to the Son of God. As I enter the gates of that city, my loved ones all knew me well they took me down the streets of heaven mm, the scenes too many to tell I saw Abraham Jacob and Isaac they were talking to Timothy then I said I want to see Jesus the one who died for me I bowed on my knees and cried holy holy cried holy Sing glory. 
sing glory to the Son of God, of God. Remarkable. Uh, Wayne is an amazing singer. And that's a great tribute to a man of music himself, Cuthbert Adamson. Um, as I mentioned earlier, um, we want to go to the chat momentarily and hear from what individuals are saying uh, in the chat. That's not verbal to all those who are watching on YouTube, but we'd like for you to know that individuals all over the world appreciated Cuthbert, he has touched so many lives. Uh, I may not get everyone, but please resend if I didn't read it. Valerie Swaby, sending love and sympathy to the family and friends. Hannah Alexander, saying condolences to the entire family. Galaxy Madge, saying condolences to the entire family. And rest in peace, Cuthbert. Uh, Carisha Jackson, Carisha. Uh, warmest condolences to Kayon and her family. Uh, Jean Gale saying heartfelt condolences to the entire family. Uh, we see as well uh, Damien Reed saying, Uncle Cuddy, can I have the face then card pack? Nobody to play with, crying, tears, nobody to play with now, deep sigh. Uh, condolences to the family. We will surely miss him as our organist at the St. John the Baptist Anglican Church. Rest in peace, our brother and friend. And this is from Pauline Lyons from the uh, St. John the Baptist Anglican Church. Thank you so much for that. As, as uh, Kenesha gets ready, uh, just wanted to read some more. Alicia says, deepest sympathy to the family from the Harris family. Uh, Sophia saying condolences to the family. Find your strength in love. God bless you all. Samuel and Geraldine Smiley, so sad to see him go, but we have the blessed hope of the resurrection. Be comforted that his last day on earth was a beautiful Sabbath with his family surrounding him and singing his favorite songs and psalms. We can all see him again if we're faithful. Thank God for the life lived for Christ. Be comforted at this time and blessings. Uh, Nika Higgins, take your rest, my uncle. I truly miss you. And Marlene Adamson with a broken heart saying, uh, Uncle Kati, may your soul rest in peace. Donnet Waysome saying, condolences to the family of the late Cuthbert Adamson. I had the pleasure of meeting this humble patient and committed gentleman. Uh, true words, when I was working in Jamaica, may his legacy and memories live on. My prayers are with you, my dear Miss Maxine, Mama Cynthia, and all the other family members be comforted in knowing that we will meet him in the suite by and by. Dr. Rosemary Lewis, a uh, close relative uh, of Cuthbert saying, cut to my dearest cuz, may your soul rest in peace. Uh, Galaxy 821, I don't know who that is, but it says condolences to the family, Brother Adamson. St. John the Baptist surely miss you dearly. And uh, uh, Tamar, or T Tamar's iPhone saying, rest in peace, dad. I will forever miss you. And Tamar, uh, condolences to you, uh, my dear. Um, our sympathies to you. Um, Galaxy Mad saying, no more devotion in the mornings with Cuthbert. Uh, so sad, uh, Elder Foster, uh, the thoughts we're hearing. Uh, while I am on, I received a message on my phone. Someone else watching on YouTube, you would be familiar with her. She's my aunt, uh, Sonia White or Sonia Smith, uh, former teacher at the Robbins Hall um, All Age School. She sends her deepest sympathies and condolences to the family. Uh, we'll pick up some more uh, later on as time permits, uh, but we want to get the program going. So uh, we'll come back to the next. The first one we'll read when we get back is Sophia. So that's the marker. So we're going to take Sophia when we get back, uh, Elder Foster. But for now, uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Kenesha is ready. Yeah, am I correct, Elder Foster? Yes, I sir. am ready. Oh, Kenesha. Right is ahead. 
Let me find you, Kenesha, <laughs> so we could spotlight you so everybody could see. Here we go. So from okay, Atlanta, Georgia, you. Kenesha, go right ahead. Thank you, everyone, and good afternoon. Thank you for all the condolences for everyone reaching out. As you guys know, Kati was also my cousin. Um, I actually called him Uncle Kati because in Jamaica, you must have manners. So when people are older than you, you call him uncle. So for me, it is Kati, yes, as cousin, but Uncle Kati. I have been praying for him more so in the last few months and we've been communicating by WhatsApp because I started dreaming last year a lot about him. And I remember reaching out to my mom and checking on him through my mom because my mom would regularly talk to him. But about two weeks, three weeks ago, I think it is when I reached out to Ken and I said, you know, I have a feeling. And we started praying. And I know that in that time he came out of the hospital. So it was a shock for me when he came out of the hospital seeing very seeming very strong and I remember calling him and telling him he looked very strong and then of course to hear the next day he had passed I was heartbroken Uncle Cutty was not just a cousin who lived at the house that I grew up in but Uncle Cutty was the one who would come when I was living in Bombay and tell us doppy stories doppy stories for me was the funniest thing when the rain was falling and of course he would put the, the you know the lights off and you hear the sounds outside and it would of course be spooky for me that was my favorite childhood memory of him and because of that I hold him even more dear so getting to read his memoir today was not just a privilege but for me something of sentimental I thought of you today but that is nothing new I thought of you yesterday and the days before that too. I often speak your name. Now all I have are memories and your picture in a frame. Your memory is a keepsake with which I'll never part. God has you in his keeping, Cutty, and I'll have you in my heart. There, I'll use these words to describe you, my cousin, my prayer warrior, my friend. Calm, unique trustworthy, honest, blessed, energetic, and religious, talented, and humble. For those who did not realize that was what he meant to us by spelling the acronym of his name. <sighs> Cutbirth Adamson was born at Robbins Hall Malton in the parish of Manchester on April 29, 1959. He was the first child born to Inez and Crafton Adamson, who was educated at Robbins Hall Elementary and moved on to Robbins Hall All Age. He ended at Christiana High School with a passion for teaching where he started at Robbins Hall Basic School. Because of that passion, he obviously, as you guys know, played the organ and the keyboard at various churches including Robbins Hall Seventh-day Adventist. It was more than a pleasure for him to roll out his keyboard many nights for our nightly and regular devotions which we all as a family and friends and neighbors enjoyed. He was a member at the MISPA Seventh-day Adventist Church in recent time but also played at Christ Church in Christiana. Over the years, Cutty stood by my grandparents and took care of them the best he knew, especially my granddad, up until his death in 2015. Every morning, he has made sure my grandmother, Cynthia, is not only aware that her eye drops need to be taken, but of course, staying on top of her that she ate and she rested. He was like a son to my grandmother. As a matter of fact, I feel more that she has been the mother to him because of all the years I've ever known him, he's always said Aunt Sint, but always referred to her as mom. The week before he died, he told her three times, Auntie, I love you. Almost as if he knew it was his time. That still breaks my heart as much as it reassures me I know that he is with God 
sleeping with the peace because of that great salvation and his passion for God. He was such a great musician who offered his services, as you guys realize, various places, wedding, funerals, churches. But what I remember most about him was his humming. He was always humming, always playing a tune. It's like a, sound like a beatbox to me, but I know it's not beatbox, but it always sounded funny. And he made these funny sounds with his mouth, like various organs and various instruments. That will never leave my heart. He took his walk with God serious. Apart from his fervent prayers, I remember him talking about his testimony. And in 2006, he attended a crusade at the Shudley Basic School and was conducted by the Christiana Seventh-day Adventist Church where he and uncle Derek got baptized. That baptism gave all of us peace of mind. We all wanted to make sure each and every single one of our, our family members is marked by our Christ, Lord Jesus. And so, as much as we grieve, we find peace in knowing he is sleeping in the arms of Jesus. Sleep on our brother. My mother and my aunt took him as a brother. Sleep on our cousin. Sleep on our brother from his sisters and brothers all over. We love you, but his love for you supersedes our, our, our understanding. The memories will live on. You have lived a life and you've lived it well. May your soul rest in peace and light everlasting love upon you. Thank you. Thank you, Ken. Uh, I, I know, Elder Foster, that was, that was quite a recollection of Cuthbert in many ways. I know something you said, Kenesha, about him. Every time I see Cutty, he's always humming. Uh, there's always a joy, a buzz about him. And thank you for capturing that. Uh, we wanted to uh, share with our viewers and all those on this Zoom platform the, the actual uh, service at the cemetery. We're having some technical challenges getting that loaded. I was trying to do that in the background a while ago. I know a number of us are having issues with our phones and our devices. So, so it's a challenge, Ella Foster. But I know um, uh, Dr. Mullings is, is, is always ready. So Ella Foster, could we have you introduce him and then we will we will come back to the cemetery right after. Sasha's saying the, the video is ready on her side. She's able to load it. Uh, that eight minute one, yes. So we'll go to the video. This is it. One of the greatest going down in history. Cuthbert Adamson.
under it. For we are consumed by thine anger and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sin, in the light of thy countenance. All our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. The days of our years are three score years and ten. Elder Foster, it was hard watching that. I know for a number of the I know, I know. The sound you heard there is was caused by the wind. It was very windy up there yesterday. Extremely windy. We were on top of the hill and wow. Yeah. And and you know, in spite of the wind, and which we all could realize that that was the case, but mm -hmm. I know a number of family members, even there in Manchester in Jamaica wanted to be there. I'm sure of that. Mm -hmm. But this is the sad tale of COVID that yeah. it restricts us in so many ways that we're now having to, to gather here 
uh, uh, on a platform like this to actually, you know, celebrate the life of someone who touched us, who hugged us, who held us. Uh, and we have to do it this way. It's a, it's a sad tale of the times that we're living in. And um, I, I just want to thank all those who have gone ahead and yes. were to attend and, and to brave the elements and to, to be there. We saw a number of individuals from the graveyard. Someone is asking in the chat, where was he buried? Um, what's the name he of it? Yes, he was buried at the Melrose Cemetery in Manchester. Okay, all right. Somebody's responding, Punto, that's on Melrose Hill, yeah. Okay, so, so thank you for sharing that with us. Um, I'm sure a lot of us would want to know at some point we will get a chance when the, the opportunity avails itself to actually go by even to, to visit the grave site, um, though you're, you're not able to do it when he was being um, buried yesterday. And um, while we don't do it this way, we usually have a word of encouragement before we have the burial because of COVID, the script has been flipped in. So, 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 or been flipped, sorry. So we, we, we're flipping the script uh, this evening as well. So to the family again, uh, we wanna say uh, deep condolences to you. Elder Foster is going to introduce uh, the speaker in a second, but we did promise we'll go back to the chat. I'll take these, then Elder Foster will introduce a right. uh, dear okay. friend of mine as well. Uh, and then uh, we'll come back to some more in the chat. Sophia says, a humble, cheerful soul. Uh, sleep in peace, cut. You'll be missed forever in our hearts. Johnson saying from Elder and Sister Johnson, condolences to the family. Be strong. We're praying for you, you and the family. We miss him so much. And then Beverly Robinson, condolences to the family from Miss Dorcas and family Cutty was a brother, a friend, and a good neighbor with a life that epitomized that of a good Samaritan. He was indeed. Rest in perfect peace, Cuddy. You are, you are Miss Keon, Miss Cynthia, Maxine, Arlene, and family. We're grieving with you and praying for your continued strength. So much tributes coming in for Cutty. Neka Higgins, um, I could see this. Neka Higgins is in tears. Um, so much touching words right here, she said. Then Tyler McIntyre, I think he's from the Robbins Hall SDA Church. Tyler is saying, I don't know about you guys, but I was very happy to have him as a friend and a teacher. He has taught me a lot of things and uh, uh, we are very grateful. And thank you so much for the tributes that are coming in. We're going to go now to Elder Foster and uh, towards the end, we will come back again and, and take some more. Thank you so much. All right. Pastor Dr. Dudley Mullins. He pastored the Christian District of Churches just before Pastor Heinz came. In fact, he has now retired. And um, Pastor Heinz is now pastoring the Christian District of Churches. Now, Pastor Mullins pastored. Cutty and pastor in his ministry at Robbins Hall has gotten to know. In fact, he knew where everybody lived. He knew everybody by name. And even during the COVID period, he would drive down to Robbins Hall. He would stop at the gates and he would call out to the members and he would pray there for them, he, he never, there was never a time when, you know, he wouldn't go down during the period of COVID when we were afraid, basically, Jamaicans were afraid to even go on the street. And he would drive down to make sure his members were okay. Now this is a man who has been and is still in touch with his God. He understood what the ministry of the gospel is. It's not only to go in the pulpit, and to preach the word of God. But he knew how to minister to the needs of the brethren. Sometimes the brethren just need to hear a word just to see the pastor. And that makes them very comfortable. He has not lost sight of that. He was always there for his members. 
this is a man who is anointed because he he is just so humble he's just so humble he's loved in the community whether you're an adventist or not when he's passing through he just had to keep blowing his horn because everybody's shouting for pastor he still is very loved down there we appreciate his work and we continue to pray him up that the lord will keep him faithful to the very end and even at this time even though he's retired he continues to pay visits to the members in Robbins Hall. We embrace Pastor Hines as he comes into the district and we thank God for two wonderful human beings who continue to lift up Christ in their work. We now welcome Pastor Mullins as he gives a word of encouragement to us all. Pastor Dr. Dudley Mullins. Thank you, Elder Foster. It is a pleasure for me to be with everyone on this platform. Uh, it is kind of a controversy to have pleasure to be somewhere with family and friends, but at the same time experiencing grief and sadness. God is awesome because he made us this way. This evening, as I think about the late brother Cotty, my friend, my brother, I have to thank God because here is a man who in his prime of life with vigor and Vim, yeah. who would make every effort to be at church, whether with auntie or by himself, to ensure that there is music. No one had to ask him. He had no plan, no idea that he would have been sick in the manner he was. But God in his wisdom allowed him to experience what he experienced. And what is so important for us to note that during his illness, there was never a moment you would see and hear from him a bit of complaint, a bit of regret. He was very hopeful and calm and just take things as he normally is a kind of person. So I am really honored to have known Brother Kati. Crusades or church services, wherever, whether he has his own transportation or a taxi or whatever, he is going to be there to give his music. And so on behalf of the family of our brother Cutbirth, I wish to thank each of you for being here today on this virtual platform to celebrate his life. And although today is a very difficult day, the scripture makes this promise to all of us. God, his favorite text, or the last text he used, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed and the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, and though its waters roar and be troubled, and though the mountains shake with its swellings. And the Bible continued to tell us, and Cutty held on to this, who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will tribulation or distress, persecution or famine, or nakedness or peril or swords? But in all these things, we overwhelmingly conquered through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, depth, nor any other created things will be able to separate us from the love of God, 
which is in Christ Jesus, our Savior. Let's bow your heads with me for a moment. Dear Heavenly Father, we gathered here on this platform to remember the life of Cuthbert Adamson. We also gather to celebrate the life that he enjoyed here on earth and to thank you, O oh God, for each precious moment and memory that we have had with him. His life truly has touched so many in, our, in so many different ways. And we pray that your peace and presence will be upon us during this time. And we pray this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, amen. As we celebrate this evening and remember the dear and precious life of Cotty, I know that many of you are dealing with mixed emotions. And on the one hand, there are emotions of great sadness. I can see it on the screens as it lays the face of some of those close friends and families. But on the other hand, there is great joy knowing that because of the relationship that Cotty had with the Lord Jesus Christ, that he has already been given during his life and to the very end, the assurance of eternal life. And I say amen. And for the Christian, there is no greater joy than to be declared as precious in the sight of God by that one that loves them like no one else, precious in the sight of God is the death of his children or his saints. So you see, Brother Cotty had a relationship that carried some wonderful promises found in John chapter 14, one to three. We all know that let not your hearts be troubled. You who believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you, yeah. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again yeah. and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. These are the words that I have chosen to describe my friend, Brother Cotty. A few words, cheerful. He has yeah. always had a smile. Yes. For everyone and a warm greeting. Mm -hmm. He made you feel like you were maybe the most important person in that special moment. Yes. Another word, talented. Yes, his musical skills were used to enhance the many church services in Robbins Hall, Mispa, in Christiana, wherever his skills were needed. This gentleman was so willing to share with individuals his talents. Three, loving. This wonderful man was a loving father, cousin, nephew, friend, and brother. He loved everyone and went out of his way to express his love to them. Yeah. He was always ready to help anyone in need. He loved his Lord and his and Savior Jesus Christ with all his heart. Yeah. And here is another word faithful. You could always depend on him. Yes. When he said that he would help or do something, he always did it. He was faithful to his church, worshiping his Lord and Savior. He was a great example to our church of being faithful unto the very end. And you'd be surprised that I'm coming to the end. In <laughs> conclusion, wow. Brother Cotty, left a great legacy for his yes. family and friends. All these special traits that this wonderful man exhibited means that he will never be forgotten by his family and his friends. We say thanks for his life to our Lord Jesus Christ who loved him and gave himself for him. And I believe Jesus said to him, well done thou good and faithful servant, Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. And I believe on that last Sabbath evening, I spoke with Cotty this Sabbath morning. And interestingly, I, I, I shared with him and I could just see the smile as he was 
at, on that day exhibiting strength and much turn for the better. And he conversed with me and I said, Brother Kutim, make sure you, you are around for us to be playing, singing with you while you play. Unfortunately, uh, they Sunday morning early, just after six, Sister Maxine text and said, you know, he's, I, I, he's doing so well. I am texting an individual to let them know that he's, and I'm showing appreciation for their concern. She did not know that he had gone to sleep maybe two hours before. And she was in the very same house expressing gratitude to individuals for sharing their prayers and thoughts and encouragement. But God knew what he was doing. And cut it somewhere along that period in the morning, maybe three o'clock, maybe two o'clock. And auntie knew what was happening. He may have silently echoed these words. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. Yes. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, yes. there is laid up for me a crown of yes. righteousness. Yes. which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, mm -hmm. but unto all them also that love is appearing. I say hallelujah. hallelujah. Just remember, family members, Auntie, Sister Maxine, and all the families, wherever you are in the diaspora, just remember this, that our conversation, let me change the word, our citizenship yes. is in heaven, Yes, and we eat eagerly anticipate and await a savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control, will mm. transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. I say, even so come, mm. Lord Jesus. I say to you today, may we be faithful as we anticipate Christ, our Lord and Savior's return where we can be reunited once again, yes, once again with our dear departed Cutty Cuthbert Adamson. My brothers and sisters, I can't wait. It won't be long. Mm. We will be going home. Yes, yes. Trump of God is about to sound. Mm -hmm. Get ready. Cutty's sleep is short. May his soul rest in peace amen amen now 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 you see why why dr mullings uh was so loved and is still so loved by so many uh, uh his words are always uplifting and i was encouraged this evening uh thank you very much my pastor uh, yes you know, I say it all the time, Elder Foster, both you and, and uh, Dr. Mullings, my first ever evangelistic series uh, was granted by both of you uh, in yeah. George's Valley. Uh, yes, yes. And, yes, yes. Yeah, I was a co-evangelist there. And I think yes. from then you've been encouraging people. And I thank God for the words of encouragement. As I watched along the screen, the, the, the visible uh, uh, uh participants this evening, I saw when uh, Aunt Cynthia had her fist in the ear, uh, trumpeting the sounds that you were making yeah. uh, because it was so encouraging. I looked mm -hmm. at, uh, on uh, Tamar's face. Uh, Tamar, is it Tamar or Tamar? Tamar. Tamar, yeah. It sounds Tamar. like Omar. That's a good name. Uh, I did not know. You're very close to Horatia there. I did not know, but we'll talk about that afterwards. But 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 Horatia and I were classmates, and I, to know to know that you have uh, uh, done so much to encourage us this evening, we're grateful. I I see others joining us on the platform. Michelle uh, uh, joining us. Yes, as well. we're so grateful. Elna Foster. Uh, yes, sir. Some, some tributes coming up now, isn't it? Sure, sure. Uh, what we have one here from Beverly Robbins. Mm -hmm. uh, says. Condolences to the family from Miss Darkas and family. Cotty was a brother, a friend, and a good neighbor with a life that epitomized that of a good Samaritan. And I'm scrolling down. Oh, just a minute. 
right. Rest in perfect peace, Cotty. You are missed. Kayon, Cynthia, Maxine, um, and we are all grieving with you. Yeah. Praying for your continued strength. So they are being prayed for. Um, Nika Higgins, so much touching words right here. Mm. O'Shane uh, from Dana or Dana, Sleeping Peace Cause from Fabian Adamson. Scrolling down. Almost read what pastor says. <laughs> Patricia's iPhone from Patricia's iPhone. Sympathy and love to uh, uh, sympathy and love to my thing is just skipping my uh, trying to take control of it here. Yes, Lord. Take over, take over for me because I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, because because others are typing at the same time. I see it happening. Yeah, it's just yeah, <laughs> moving. I'm trying to hold on. Yeah. Um, I got one here. O'Shane Mullins, uncle is a person that will have the nice stick in his back and still do his best to heal your wounds. That's the type of uncle I grew up and know. He never said no. Yeah, if we go back to Patricia, very good. Yes, let me go back. Love to the family, my prayer to Keon and the rest of the family. Yes. Uh, uh, God is our strength and refuge. Michelle's Galaxy, A40, saying one of the best teacher. He taught O'Neill and Shanique. I'm still in shock. May his soul rest in peace. And Marlena Gibson. I know Marlene Gibson. I don't know if this person is related to Marlene. Girl. But is saying will be truly missed such a gentle soul may his soul rest in peace condolences to the family uh samsung galaxy amp 21 our sincere condolences to the family god bless you all selford and beverly fraser that's pastor dr Dwayne fraser's parents in uh our relatives in uh toronto canada albert lewis uh, another famous name Condolences to the family of Cuthbert, my schoolmate, before he became my cousin-in-law. Yes, Albert, trust that he's resting peacefully. His craft of being an organist will truly be missed. The guy was exceptional. I, I, mm. uh, my words, it, it was exceptional. Um, uh, from, go ahead. Yes, from Marlena and Gibson. Will be truly missed such a gentle soul. May his soul rest in peace. Concert uh, condolences to the host family is missing here. It was uh, just okay to the family. Uh, um, Cuthbert, my schoolmate, before he became my cause, this is from whom, Omar? Um, uh, this thing is. Uh, yeah, we just read that. Oh. Um, right, let me go back down. Yeah, next he gives. Albert and Luis, Albert Luis, can they, oops, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's asking that the, the, the volume be increased. <laughs> sorry, yeah. uh, let me continue scrolling down. I suppose that's it. Uh, I don't well, see any more here. Uh, Neka Higgins saying so true Punto. I don't know who Punto is, uh, but, but I, I think even if he's upset, you will not know. Always smiling. Uh, anything wrong happen, grandma will say, okay, cut it soon come. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, yeah. Debbie, we could always depend on Mr. Adamson to take the Sunday gleaner to us. Continue to play in heaven with the angels. When that time comes, I hope, you will be missed. The McLeans from Coleville. Uh, Jody and Ennis, the Lord has called one of his faithful musicians to help sound the trumpet. Well, you know, the trumpet's going to wake him up when it sounds, uh, rest in peace, cuz. Uh, we've got some comments from, from YouTube. I've got a few of those. Can I read that now? Um, sure, go ahead, go ahead. Straight from YouTube. So others are watching on YouTube and I wanna acknowledge them as well. Uh, Tanisa Barrett saying, I'm present. Uh, 
Claudia Clark, rest in peace, my brother. You are greatly missed by everyone at Christ Church in Christiana. Sleep and take your rest, Sister Claudia Clark. Michelle Adamson, yes, I'm watching. Arlene Powell, great smiling soul gone to sleep. Arlene Powell, hi, Pastor Palmer. Hi, Arlene. How are you? Marsha Huss. Hey, Marsha. Uh, that's my cousin, too, from Rest Hill, if you know. Uh, Brother uh, Cecil Huss, for those of you who don't know, Brother Cecil Huss, his daughter, big daughter. Uh, condolences to the family. Gretli Bodden, that's my aunt in the Cayman Islands. Uh, we know her as Tiny. Condolences to the Adamson's family. Rose Clark, my deepest condolences. Cutty, rest in peace, my friend and brother in Christ, see you in the morning. Uh, the Twinkling Lights says, my condolences to the family. God bless and keep you safe from Licia Bennett. Uh, thank you. Um, Arlene Powell, he's willing, loving, caring, and faithful to his word. Doreen Smith, sounds like one of those Smith from my family side too. Doreen, rest in peace, Cutty. Condolences to the family. The Twinkling Lights, condolences to the family, more so to Kay Ann from the sister Joanne Foster and her mom. God bless, keep safe. And Arlene Powell saying amen, praise God, we're surely going home. Donna Wright, Morgan, rest in peace, Cutty, gone but not forgotten. Violet Thomas, believe it or not, this is one of my aunts. Uh, you call her aunt, uh, call her Ayoni, said rest in peace, Cutty. And uh, we see some other ones, Elder Foster. You want me to continue? There's a few. And yeah, then continue. We... I'm trying to see if I can yeah. Yeah, um, get in some. We have one here from Joan Wint, though, saying Mr. Adamson was my colleague when he was a teacher, a friend, and later on the organist at Christ Church Christiana. Uh, Christiana is where, you know, our roots is from. We really miss him. Your music will forever okay. be in our hearts. And Shanika Green. Sleep on, my uncle. His love, light, and warmth will live on forever. Um, okay. Galaxy S5, are you there, Ella Foster? Prayer meeting will not be the same again. Uh, somebody's trying to tell me that Punto is Auntie Bev's son. Ron is brother. All right. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. We'll truly be missed. Uh, and it's it's me, Jolly, replying to him. Neka. Yes, Jolly. Um, uncle Cotty will be sadly missed. Tyler McIntyre, yeah. uh, trust me. And Tamar, um, Keon, yes. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know that name more than I know Tamar. Yes, Keon as well, yes. And uh, Kadeen says, my sincere condolences. Your soul is resting peacefully. We're all saddened. Um, Ella Foster, that's it's quite a bit. Cockbirth was really long. Yes, we could it's see. quite a bit. Um... I'm trying to see where you reach. You reach. Have you oh, read yeah. Donna May Francis? I didn't see Donna May yet. Oh, Donna May Francis, say thank you, Uncle Cotty, for the joy you brought to Avi. Wherever, whenever he was in your presence, you shall be surely missed. Avi, whenever he was in your presence, you yeah. shall be surely yeah. missed. So he brought joy to Avi. So he will be missed. Rose Clark. Rose Johnson, rest in peace, my brother. Putty, see you in the morning. Yes, and if you don't, don't know Rose Johnson, that's the Rose Johnson from up in Robbins Hall. She lives in New York. That's Sister oh. Eddie's daughter, Rose Johnson. Okay, okay. Or not, she took me on my first beat trip. I'll never forget those things. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. All right, uh, we do have some individuals. Yeah. We're going to come back around to this quickly, but we want to... Sure time uh we want to value your time i know you've been on since seven right. almost uh uh i mean since six year time seven my time but we do have some individuals uh in line we have uh elder foster pastor jones from the right middlesex, middlesex anglican, anglican church kian johnson and marilyn robinson so in that right. order, can take them sure right yes uh, is pastor jones on pastor jones Let your presence be seen, felt, known, heard. Um, all right, we don't see Pastor Jones. What about a representative from the Middlesex Anglican Church? I know we've heard quite a few people talk about him, and that sure, I'm sure, brought joy to Tamar and uh, or Kayon's heart and other family members. Um, uh, Okay, I don't think. What about Kayon 
Johnson. Is Keon here? I don't see any of these names on the platform. Maybe you're on a different name online. We don't want to miss you. If you can unmute and speak, if you are that person. Um, what about Marilyn Robinson? Uh, good evening, okay. good evening. Who is this? That person says G. Who is this? Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn. Sorry for mispronouncing your name. Marilyn, just before you speak, we want you to know that we will we will try we will attempt to to give you an opportunity in about a minute or so, respecting everybody's time for those who are coming after you. Not you, uh, Marilyn, but everybody. Mar Marilyn, I think, has two minutes. That's what you were told. We want to respect that. Everybody else, we want to give you a, a time to, if you want to say something, you need to raise your hands, though, so we can acknowledge you so we don't have a shouting match. Uh, so after that, we see Maxine's iPad. That was Bella Foster, right? After, after Marilyn, we'll see uh, Maxine's iPad will speak after that. And then before we do the, the, the or maybe we'll have the prayer for the family. Then there's another video that, that we want to show uh, for those who weren't at the funeral. It's another clip. We'll try to show it at the back end. So if those who have to leave will need to leave, we can show that at the back end so those who would like to remain and see it can see it. But let's go to um, Marilyn right now. And then after Marilyn, we'll go to I'm back. Speaking, right back. I'm sorry. I'm speaking on behalf of Keon, the oh, daughter. Keon. All right. So let's yeah. say Keon. 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 Yes. Yeah, let her that's on, Tamar, please. Isn't it? Yes, that's Tamar. Okay, go Ask ahead. Her to open her mic, please. Okay, uh, Tamar? Okay. Hello. Yeah, it's very tough for her. Yes. It's very tough for her. So you can go ahead and speak for her. Uh, again, um, Keon, oh, you're right there with Horatio and as close as he is to you, we wish that all of us could could be as close to you to comfort you. Even with all of us beside you, it will not be able to bring the comfort to your heart that you received and you're accustomed to from uh, your father. But we are here sending you uh, hugs from far and wide and our prayers with you. Uh, be, be of good cheer. Take your time. Grieve as you must. And uh, it's up to you. If you ever feel like you want to say anything, we'll shut down everything and let you speak. Uh, but you've asked uh, Maxine to speak on your behalf. We'll allow her to speak. And if you feel so inclined, uh, don't pressure at all. You are, you are more than welcome to, to express. We see the pain. Uh, we can hear it in the few words you just said. Um, but we're here with you. Mm -hmm. First, um, for uh, Tamar, Keon, my favorite um, uh, name, um, I just want to show this to you, her, um, this Happy Father's Day um, card she made um, when she was in um, elementary school. And she was going through her dad's um, papers and found it among his papers, how he put it up so nicely. And it reads, Happy Father's Day, Dad. When I have good news, I always want to share it with you. And when things aren't going so well, I know you'll make things better just by listening, caring, and understanding and you always do. That's why no matter how grown up I may be, no matter where I go in life or what I do, I will never outgrow my love for you. Dad, thank you for uh, being the strong support that touched so many lives. May your Father's Day bring you everything beautiful that you deserve. Happy Father's Day from your daughter, Keon or Tamara. And that was done. Um, I don't want to say your age, but since she was early teens. 
And also uh -huh. she wrote, um, uh, she wrote uh, these few words, tribute to dad. Growing up as a child, I was well taken care of. He nurtured me, taught me, dressed me, helped me, but most importantly, he loves me unconditionally. We share a good father and daughter bond. There are not enough words to describe how important my dad was to me. He brought so much happiness in my life and to others. He touched so many hearts. He would freely assist anyone whenever they need help with a yes, given that is so true. I could call on him anytime and he always has a solution for, to my problems. Things will be different without you. I am grateful to call you my father. I am blessed to have such a wonderful dad. I never question if he loves or cares for me because he made it obvious. The greatest reward he gave to us was his example. His words backed up his actions. He also taught us how to live our life with integrity and dignity. I am proud yeah. to tell the world that he was yeah. my father. Rest in peace, Daddy. Mm, that's on behalf of Keon Tamar. Yes, uh, thank you so much for doing that. That would that have been so very beautiful. Difficult. Yeah, difficult for yeah. Aeon to do. Um, it's a mm. challenge, but that would have been for her heart, you could tell. Um, just come off, so. Kayon, you, you, you can see, as you know, your father was loved. It yeah. was not a trick on your mind. Uh, to believe that he was a loving guy. You can hear the evidence this evening, the testimonies, um, the outpouring of love and the warmth, the kindness, uh, the compassion, that's uh, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. the sincerity uh, that's coming from everyone. Yeah. It's from him. It's, it's really a reflection of who Cuthbert was um, and what his legacy will be. Uh, so, so thank you so much for uh, allowing us uh, to have a part in his life. He was your father. You could actually claim him as your own. He's your father. But, but thank you for allowing us to have been blessed uh, by him and with his presence and all that he did to so many people uh, all over. Uh, you saw tributes coming in, people singing from St. Lucia in Canada. Uh, other parts of the world, um, it shows the, the extent to which your father has touched so many lives. And uh, thank you for allowing us to just be a small part of that and to be blessed in a magnificent way uh, by what he did. Thank you, Kayan. Thank you. All right, so we move to the next item, Pastor Omar. Yes, who is that now? Uh, we will have- Oh, that was Marilyn. Uh, Marilyn? Yes. Marilyn? Are Good evening, here? everyone. Good evening. In remembering Uncle Cotty as affectionately called him. I can remember one evening, he was coming home from work and his kindness, he walked in his socks, come home because of someone who he knew. And he says to him, man, give me the pair of shoes, you know? And he never says no. 
could he take off the shoes off his feet and the, the driver dropped him at the at his gate, he walked barefoot, come straight home. That's the Cotty, the Uncle Cotty. And I, as my son, he could not say uncle. He said, oh, Cotty. He, we always tease him with that name, oh, Cotty. And all of us, myself, Nadine and Heather, we are mourning just like Ken. Ken called me Auntie G. He called Megan Heather Mommy. That's the brother we have. That's Cuthbert. We always have a wonderful time when we come together as a family. He always wanted to sing with me, and I always love to sing with him. I can remember teaching him this song. I'll only sing one verse because I know my voice won't take me to the end to the whole of this song. My heart can sing when I pause to remember a heart takes hair it's borrowed for a while along a train that winding always upward this troubled world is not my final home but until then my heart will go on singing until then with joy i'll carry on until the day my eyes behold the city, until the day God calls me home. Rest in peace, my brother. God loves you most. And this is why he take you away from us. But I sure we will meet you in that new resurrection. Sleep on, rest in peace. Love you, Uncle Koti, Okoti. God bless. Amen. Wow, the love just pouring out faster. Remarkable, remarkable. Yeah. Um, you know, you can't fake it. You can't script it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's natural. It's an organic approach that we see coming from individuals out of the recesses of their own hearts, expressing uh, feverishly what uh, Cuthbert meant uh, and still means to them. Um, you know, in the chat, there are a number of uh, right. you know, statements mm -hmm. in the chat. I don't know what we're going to do tonight. If we don't cut it off somewhere, we'll be here all night. But... Um, I see where, um, where are we now, Elder Foster? Um, I see. I'm seeing. I see on to I don't understand. I see. But I could search. Sorry, that's that's Siri on my chat. I don't see. An, uh, uh, on to Maxine, we'll read. Okay, good. I got that. Alicia Bennett. Yeah. Condolences to the family. Bye. Yes. Right. From yes. Sister Joyce Bennett and Sister Joan Foster. Oh, mm -hmm. Joyce Bennett. And yeah, the, we know these people from Robin's All Seventh-day Right, yes. Yeah. Go ahead, Ella Foster. You want to take the rest? Um, Galaxy Tab A8, my condolences go out to all the Adams family coming. Oh, that was already Miss Carmen Adamson's oh, no. son and daughter-in-law. No, you Also, yeah. rest in peace, uncle. Uh, one of the best early child education teacher there was. Oh. Um, uh, we see from uh, S. Watson yes. Powell, condolences to the family praying for, and with you, God is your strength. Uh -huh. From Angela Smichael. To everyone, rest in peace, Uncle. To his family, stay strong. God is with you. 
Yes. We see Necker Higgins saying, Keon, hold the faith, hon. I know the feeling because I'm feeling your pain. Uh, mm. Denisha Barrett Rowe, uh, a very wonderful yeah. brother and musician who have served this community who will be greatly missed from the Barrett family. Yes, Denisha. I know Denisha too. Uh, right down there, the Barrett family uh, in Rob in Malton. Uh, rest in peace, Uncle Cut Amoy Thomas. No, Amoy. Despite the sting of death being surely inevitable, mm. comforted by the fact that even on your deathbed, Jesus was on your mind. Amazing. Mm. Die. That's 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 special to know. It's comforting right. to know. Right. Yes. Um, From user, my mm -hmm. condolences to you, Tamar. I really admire the relationship you had with your dad. Uh, he was a kind and gentle human being. May his soul rest in peace. Yes. Can you see Angela? Yes, I read that one already. Good. So, so, so we have a new name for him. Uh, Ocot, what's it? Ocot? Even a child who can say Uncle Cutty says uh -huh. Ocot. 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 Praise God for that. Um, I, I know it's 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 the, the, the sting of death is piercing. Um, it's very hard, it's difficult, it's challenging. Uh, a lot of emotions uh, going through our minds and to the minds, especially of the family who were so close to Cuthbert. Um, I know a lot of folk may want to express a little bit of their um, feelings right now. As you know, we are not able to have you express all, but I'm sure um, there are some individuals who may want to say a word. Be, please be mindful that everything that we're saying, we're doing it in honor of Cuthbert. Uh, whatever we say, we're thinking that if he were here and if I said it, he would be happy that I said it. That's the frame of mind that you need to have this evening as you express uh, how he did. I see Natalia, Natalia with uh, a hand raised, Natalia. Yes. No, Natalia. Uh, no, no, share my condolence family. Yes. But she's a good girl. I'm really sorry for her last. Mm -hmm. But you know, life goes on, and just ask Lord to add His blessing to the rest of the family, and you know that they too may see their self in quality position before the end of time, and that's my there's hope for tomorrow. Like share my condolences with the Adamson family, and I. Hope you continue to keep the faith and continue to believe in God. Life goes on, but there's but the hope for tomorrow. And uh, yes, Thank sorry you. for your loss. Thank you so much. We appreciate all your contributions this evening, and we trust that through them all, the family is being inspired and strengthened. You know, to go on. Um, Pastor Palmer, we have a tribute from the Robbins Hall Church from Tyler. Tyler McIntyre. Yes, we will have him at this time. Go ahead, Tyler. Where are you? You know, while we get Tyler situated, I don't see him, but I want you to notice how important this was for a lot of individuals. We see O'Shane busy at work. Uh, you know, you could see him cooking or whatever he's doing there. Uh, we see someone driving. Uh, we see others doing different things at various parts and points. And uh, it shows the commitment people have. There are 91 Zoom channels open right now. And on channels, you have multiple wow. individuals. Uh, you know, it shows uh, how much love people had and still has for uh, Cuthbert. Um, so, is, is Tyler ready? I have not seen any sign of him, but we could ask for Mispo in the Mispo. meantime. Mispo, Mispo. of the Adventist Church. All right, oh, Tyler. Tyler, is, Tyler has appeared. Tyler looks like he's 
he lives i can face tomorrow we just want to welcome pastor omar shanika from robin's Hall. shanika simpson she is there in china and she looks like the jing jong jing jong china <laughs> chinese oh, yes china. oh yeah shanika, what shanika. time is it in china right now you're muted I hope we have an interpreter you're muted. Yeah, in China, it's another day already. What time is it? <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's now 9.02 a.m. Yes, 12 hours ahead. Uh, 13 hours ahead of Jamaica. Um, 9.02 yes, a.m. 
Wow. And okay. and and she's here, she's here to share her talent with us because um she knew Koti very well. And I'm sure she has something to say. I uh, we are happy to have you, Shanika. And I'm sure the family will be blessed by your presentation now. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I want to share my condolences with the family. I know this is a very hard time. Death is never easy for anyone, but with Jesus, we have hope. And I'm just gonna ask you to listen to the first stanza of this song. When I'm low in the spirit, I cry, Lord, lift me up. For I want to go higher in thee. For the Lord knows I can't stay on the mountain. And so he picked out the valley for me. Jesus leads me beside still waters. Somewhere in the valley below, and he drew me aside to be tested and try but in the valley he restored my soul oh in the valley he restored my soul amen 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 did wow. did man china uh, is, is it a country <laughs> where you can sing that well or is China? It's amazing. That's 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 remarkable. I see it's a blessing to uh Kayon as well, and everybody is mm -hmm. you know she's she's waving and saying thanks. That's powerful, Shanika. Uh thank you for that great, great gift that God has given you. Amen. And, um, you're demonstrating that Kati had something to do with your development, and uh <laughs> we're grateful for you. Thank you. Thank yes. You. Um, yeah. We have Mispa. I don't know if Mispa is in the house. If you are, we ask that you will come on and give your contribution. Yeah, Mispa, as you get ready, somebody says we need more. So Shanika, prepare yourself. Mispa? All right, we don't have Mispa. I wonder, Elder Foster, if there, there are individuals here now who may want to take a minute and just, just share, you know, your family. Okay, before, before we open the floor, Pastor, we, we have Beresford South, from um, the People's Warden at Christ Church Christiana. So we're wondering mm -hmm. if, if he's on. If he's on, we're going to give him the, the opportunity to say what he has to say. If he's here. Is he here? Not seen. All right, so we will move on. Open the floor, Pastor, go ahead. All right, everybody, again, like we said, we want to respect your time, everybody's time. It's already gone past the time that mm -hmm. we thought we'd be here. So we, want, we don't want to ignore an opportunity that someone might, might want to share something for a loved one as Cutty. So uh, let's respect those who will follow you and respect uh, Cutty in expressing. I see Dr. Rosemary Lewis. Dr. Lewis, go right ahead. Good evening. You're muted. So you have to unmute yourself now. You're muted. We can't hear you. There you go. I forgot. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, good evening to everyone. As a family, the Adamson family, we grieve, but we do not grieve that there is no hope. The life that Cutty had lived was exemplary and it epitomized Christ-like and the way we should walk. One of the things I admired about my cousin was that he was very humble. Mm 
and he was always giving and he never knew how to say no. Mm. And out of that calm spirit, he exuded that kind of a personality that would capture the heart of everyone. When Katia and I were kids, we, you know, we grew up together. I took on the challenge of going to Brother Huss to be taught music. And I, I invited Cutty to come with me. And he was so good at it that Cutty turned around and started to teach me music. And that, yes, was exemplary. And so I just thank my aunt Cynthia and the rest of the family who had showered him with such love. And it's only grace that could keep us this far. Again, we say we grieve, but not like we have no hope. May his soul rest in peace and light everlasting shine upon him. Amen. Amen. Dr. Rose, uh, I know it's tough for you as well. You know, you were very close. And uh, thank you for sharing. I know Kayon and the rest of the family they all appreciate that as your family member, very close family member. Yes. And uh, thank you so much. Yes. Well said. <laughs> yeah. Always love to hear you. Always. Thank you, my love, my love to Auntie Maxine, everyone in the home. And, you know, I know they will miss Cody. As a family, we grieve together. Amen. Amen. Mm. Mark, well, just thank want you. to, yes, just want to read some more messages. In the chat, we say, a uh, great tribute, Miss Simpson. Um, Leisha Bennett says, amen, great tribute is good to know. She can still sing in English. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Um, from iPhone, I love my family, from Washington, D.C. to Jamaica. Mm. From Samsung SMG920V. Hi, Shanika. Lovely song. God bless you. All right. All right. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, I know we're, uh, I'm sorry, iPhone is saying his name is Derek. Yes, Derek. Thank you. Mm. Uh, I see the prayer. I see the strength. I see the love. I see the Jamaica. Yes. The careful smile uh, and the love. Appreciate that, Derek. Um, thank you. Um, is there anyone else? I see Beverly Robinson. Beverly Robinson. Beverly okay. Robinson. Go ahead, Bev. Unmute. Uh, could you please unmute me? Am I unmuted? You are. Yes. Okay. Um, I just wanted to share um, with the family, Cotty and I, um, Cotty's neighbor was neighbor to us. And believe you me, I mean, he was more than a brother. When I tell you he was more than a brother, I mean, he was my, he was, he was my mother's son, right? And um, through her sicknesses, whatever is happening, he's going to let you know, he's going to stand by you, he's going to be there for you. And um, when he got sick, I wrote to him and I just want to read this so that um, Keon can hear the last time when I spoke to him, I said this WhatsApp came in from him on April, on March 26th, because he and I had spoken, he had come to Kingston and he didn't tell me and I was upset and I was saying he should have told me. And anyway, after that, I sent him and I said, Cotty, read Jeremiah 17, right? And I said, verses 7 to 18. And those who know what that passage says, it says, heal me, O God, and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved, for you are the God of my praise. Right? Mm. And he wrote back to me, and I'm just going to read what he said. He said, whoa, those verses in the book of Jeremiah 17 to 18 stood out so strongly. Wow. And then he quoted to me, Jeremiah 29, verse 7. For mm -hmm. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. And he said, faith in the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. And I wrote back to him and I said, so true, Cotty, good morning. And the last text that I re received from Cotty, I'm checking the date on this. Um, I think it's in April 8th. It says it's First Thessalonians 
5, verse 18, and it's a picture of photo he sent me early morning, 6.48 a.m., and this is what he said, and Kian and Miss Cynthia and Arlene and Maxine and the entire family, I want you to hear what this photo said, because I was just scrolling through, and I said, you know, sometimes when we're traveling through life, sometimes we understand even more than those around us understand and this says, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And this is the last text I got from him. Right. And I, you know, there were other things that I sent to him and so on. The last time when I sent a text to say, hello, Kote, I prayed for you today. I got back a text to say my dad passed away yesterday. So, um, but that, that, that quote in all, in everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. This is what I will hold on to whenever I remember Kati. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh, for prayer. Yeah. I, I, I just want you to know, I know when he sent that Jeremiah 29, he may love number seven so much. He meant 11. Yes. But it's, yes. it's remarkable um, that you shared that with us. Thank you so much. You guys You're wouldn't welcome. know how many people are watching. Uh, Elder Foster, I just want the folk to know that the MISPA Church, I'm understanding that MISPA is actually on YouTube. They cannot oh, share the normal okay. way, but but, but um, they're, they're sending their expressions of condolences to the family uh, here in Jamaica and elsewhere. So you're okay. watching in MISPA now. And we want to say to you, thank you so much for the support that you continue uh, to give. There are countless number of individuals mm. watching right now as we speak on YouTube. And by yes. the way, YouTube is going to be there so they can watch it, you know, you know, forever, infinitely. So, so yeah. as it is right now, people are watching all over. It shows how much uh, Kaon, your dad was was loved, That's and so. Right. At, at this time, yes. I don't see any other uh, individual. Yes. Um, let me just let me just read this uh, message from Marlene Adamson. She says, "I can't hold back my tears. I'm getting goosebumps. The tributes have torn me apart forever." S I P. Sleep in peace. S I P. Sleep in peace. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, right. it's a tough one. Thank you, Dr. Mullins, for sending that through. We just want you guys to, to know uh, that we're about to close. It's nine, It's 8.15 where you are now. 9.15 yeah. It's 9.15 a.m. in China uh, uh, where Shanika is. So it's getting close to that time. So what we want to do is to make sure we don't ignore anyone. Uh, I'll tell you what's coming up. Uh, Elder Foster is getting ready to have that special prayer uh, for the entire family. Uh, it's a very important moment that we don't want to miss. So we're going to have that if we don't see anyone else. And then right after that, uh, once we have the prayer for the family, I know some of you may have to go. We don't want to hold you, but we will play the remainder. The next clip from the, the cemetery will be played at the end. We'll have final words. We will uh, say ta-ta for now. And uh, we will keep each other in prayer and in our hearts. Uh, uh, Elder Foster, I see no other hands. I don't see anyone waving or saying that they would like to say something. Uh, so thank you for that. There are 30 plus individuals watching on YouTube. Um, so thank you so much. Um, beautiful. So Elder, Elder Foster, I think it's a good, an important moment for all of us. Uh, family, prepare yourself to be to receive a very big, bold hug from God, even mm. during this moment of prayer. Uh, Elder Foster, over to you. All right, let us pray. Father in heaven, we just want to thank you for this opportunity to virtually share in this great Thanksgiving service of our brother, father, grandfather, nephew, a loving relative, Cuthbert Adamston. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for his life. 
that has impacted so many. He has been a blessing to all those who knew him. We thank you, Father, that his life is an example of how we are to live for you. We thank you, God, that he was able to, because of the way he lived, to touch each one in a very personal way. We thank you for the, his contribution in the various churches where he used his talents to enhance the worship service. We thank you, God, for your love for him. You have kept him faithful. Thank you, for you have life. been there with him through his illnesses, through the time of his pain. You have been there. He kept on to you in spite of. And we thank you, God, that you are indeed a present help in time of trouble and in need. We know, Father, that the family has lost a beautiful soul. But at the same time, Lord, they're happy to know that he was connected to you. We know, Lord, that he had made his calling an election, sure. And this is what they have to be happy about, to be content with, because of everything that anyone might accomplish in life or achieve, the most important is that you have a relationship with God and that you die in Christ. Father, Job asks the question, if a man dies, shall he live again? And the answer is yes. But he will wait for his appointed time. To wait until his change comes. We know Cotty is waiting for his change to come. We pray, oh God, that the family will hold steadfast to you, Lord, and that you will extend your mighty arms around them and you will bring comfort to them as no one else can. May you whisper peace in their ears. May they be reassured that you're a God to your promise. You will never leave nor forsake them. We pray that this afternoon, the contributions that were brought, that we pray that through them, they were comforted somewhat. We pray God for Kayon, especially the daughter, the closest connection, we pray, Lord, that she will hold on dearly to those precious memories and that she will live her life, that she will meet her father in the earth made new. Father, we pray that all those who were able to be on this platform, we ask God that as we listen to that we will always be connected to you and those who have not yet given their life to you, that they would have thought about it tonight and see that death is imminent. And that is something we all will have to face. We pray, oh God, that you will help us to seek you early before it is eternally too late. Thank you, God, for those who have participated, all those who gave tribute, all those who were able to identify with the love and the kind of person that Cotty was. We pray, Lord, that you will be with all the presenters, all our pastor, uh, Omar Palmer, Pastor Hines, Pastor Murray, Pastor Dudley Mullins. We pray, Lord, that you will continue to guide them in this great work that they will continue to minister to all the world and that they will come to know you as your Lord and Savior. Give us a good night's rest tonight, Father, and may you help us that we will stay connected to you as we look forward to that day when you will say, it is done. 
We pray, God, that if we, our eyes closed, or we live to see you come, along all, all, with all those who have died in you, that we, oh God, will hear that mighty shout of the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and all the dead in Christ will rise first. But he and all our loved ones that have gone before who are resting in the grave, we pray, oh God, along with those who will remain faithful alive, will meet you in the air and so will we ever be with you. This is our hope, this is our desire to meet you and to live with you always. For Christ's sake we pray, amen. Amen, amen, even so, come. Come Lord Jesus. Come Lord Jesus. Uh, it, is, it is remarkable to note that even this evening as we've gathered here for the celebration of the life of Cuthbert Adamson, the song comes to mind, when peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is, it is well, it is well with my soul. The question that we have to answer this evening is, and Cuthbert would love for me to ask, is it well with your soul? We look forward to meeting our dear brother one day in the suite. Bye and bye. Uh, it's now 8.24, 9.24 Eastern time here in the United States where I'm located. Uh, you have spent a wonderful time. It's a tremendous tribute to a man who did tremendous exploits. Something stood out to me just now. Someone shared, Elder Foster, that someone requested. You ever heard back in Jamaica, we always say they would give away the Encore. land. Oh, okay. On them foot, right? Oh. Cutler took off his shoes. Yeah. And gave it to someone. And walked home or drove home or went home. Barefooted. Mm, barefooted. That says something about the man. Mm -hmm. who died oh Lord. Here this evening. Uh, you know, some of us have ways to go to be half the man that cut birth. Mm. He has led a life, left a legacy that we can all emulate and hope to one day be like him mm. in a small way. And I sh I'm sure as we hold, you know, he was a quick learner. You know, he went to Brother Huss, who we know, who did so much for so many of us. And Brother Huss taught him. And while he was there with, with Dr. Rose, uh, he was a quick learner. He was teaching her mm. what she taught him to learn. Uh, it says something about the man, we can almost say the legend, Cuthbert Adamson. So you see churches in Robbins Hall and in Mispa. You see pastors retired and currently serving. You see mm. uh, people living, people in China, uh, people in Canada, people sending tributes from out of St. Lucia uh, for a man who some of them, uh, he's never been to China, that I can tell you. Uh, I don't think he's ever been to St. Lucia. Uh, I'm not sure if he's been to Canada, but people from all over. Uh, you heard Dr. Uh, Rose shared from the United States a while ago as well. Thank God for the life that Cuthbert Adamson lived. Amen. Hey, Amen. Your dad did well. Your dad blessed yes. A lot of people touch a lot of hearts. And for that, we thank God. For that, we thank you as well, Keon. Because mm -hmm. every time he shared with somebody else, it was time that he could have spent with you. And uh, thank you for that, for sharing those moments 
I um, my last statement, Ella Foster, then I ask you to share a last word, then I will go to the video and then we'll say goodbye. Uh, my last statement is, is that card that was found hidden mm. in his possessions, it said sure, sure. something about the meaning and the monumental blessing this card was to him. Right, Keon? And I hope you appreciate the fact that you probably forgot that you gave him that card, but he never forgot that. He probably opened that up many times, read it many times, put it back, fold it nicely. You know, like some of them chairs that you have back home where the parents have even the cabinet with some glass inside the way you can't drink from it, but it's just their decoration. Every once mm -hmm. in a while, you know, they may take it out when the pastor come over. That's why I wanted to be a pastor because when the pastor come, <laughs> over, the glass come out, uh, you know, from the cabinet, all that kind of stuff. It's, it's something like that. Those chairs that's in the living room that's still covered in plastic that you can't sit on them. Uh, you know, it's something like that. He took that and he tucked it away uh, in a place that only he could find it. He could never get wet, could never get lost. He oh, knew it was. So when he needed that, he could go to it. Right, Keon? Yeah, just the same. Not even a scratch. Wow. Like you wrote it yesterday. Like it was, you looked like yesterday. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's really something. And don't lose that. You want to save that for his great great grandchildren and the other 10 kids that you'll have. <laughs> All right. Ella Foster, <laughs> any final words? And uh, then we will go to that video. We will dismiss everyone and then we'll go to that video for those who would like to stay back and watch it. Uh, we could do that. Just want to say thanks to all those who were able to link on this platform. Um, we just want to thank God for the tributes that were made and to see that Brother Kochi was such a, a loved person. Um, his fame had gone abroad. And this is what a good life is. When you lived your life in that way, you are heard from far. You're heard about from far. And that is why it pays good to live good. It's easier to live good than to live otherwise because somebody will have to set the, the prince for others to step in to follow. He had blazed the trail and I'm sure there are many that in fact we will follow behind He's a man who knew God, and as a result, his life was spontaneous in living right, setting the example, setting the pace. He was so loved. When I went to Robbins Hall and met this man, he, 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 he didn't even speak. He was so quiet. It took a lot to get him to say two words. He was always smiling Silent. and shaking his head. Yeah and shaking his head, he, he never said much. His silence, was, his silence was just awesome, if you know what I mean. You know, he's there, you know, his presence is there, even though he might not be saying much. His life has touched many, including mine. And it is, you know, sad that he has to be gone already but God knows best. The family loves him, but God loves him more. I just want to thank you again, all those who have joined. Shanika, you are here. Thanks for sharing. Um, the family members, keep heart, stay strong. The prayers will continue to go up. We know that when everybody's gone, the house will be there. Probably only auntie will be there. We don't know, but God promises that he will never leave nor forsake us. God bless you all. And may we all be faithful as we look forward to the second coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you so much, Elder Foster. Uh, you saw where Keon, uh, or uh, as you say, Tamar, Tamar said, thank you all. Uh, she's expressing her appreciation. Uh, on the program from the uh, funeral yesterday, there's an acknowledgement. 
and uh, it's the first time I know what uh, Cotty's middle name was. Uh, the family of Cuthbert Edgerton, very powerful middle name, you see? Cuthbert Edgerton or Egerton. What is it, Keon? Is it Egerton or Edgerton? Edgerton. Edgerton? Yes, Cuthbert Edgerton Adamson acknowledges with gratitude the numerous expressions of love and support from home and abroad. After his passing, your prayers, visits, telephone calls, text messages, and other acts of kindness and concerns were overwhelming and of great comfort to us. We are eternally grateful to you all. I thank God for that. I bet right now, many people right now on here did not know that that was Cuthbert's middle name. Some of you may not even know his name was Cuthbert. That was Cuthbert, right. Cuthbert. No, it was Cotty. Yes, or, or Cut, you know. All yeah, that Cuts. Kind of you learn about people, even their names, uh, when you go to the funeral service. Um, you know, what's my name? E.T., that's all they know me as. But that, that, that Omar is my name, you see? Will forever be known as Omar. All right, uh, I see Maxine's IP. We're going go yes. to the, go to the, the, the video. And then we're going to say goodbye to you all, and you could stay on and watch the video, and then we close out. Maxine's iPad. Um, I just want to correct that name because it's so beautiful. It's Egerton. Egerton. Oh, Egerton. Yeah. Egerton. I wonder if his mom and dad first. wanted it to be Everton, and then they, they, they no. didn't spell it. Anyway. <laughs> it's actually originated from Cuba. Oh, so that will be Keon's first boy's name. Egerton. Egerton. All right. <laughs> Hispanic Spanish name. Ah, muchas gracias for that. Thank you. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. We're going to play the video now. Again, I want to say on behalf of the family, uh, for all of us who have been a part of this, thank you for the honor. On behalf of Elder Foster and myself, thank you for the honor and privilege to have been a part of this. Mm -hmm. Um, I felt really honored to actually and humbled to actually be asked to uh, be a part of this. And thanks to all those who participated, all those who had anything to say. Shanika, I know you're in China. It's morning. Don't go yet because after the video, somebody might ask you to sing. You never know because you sing so well as well. So, so, so we're going to play the video now. We ask you to remain and watch it as you desire. Cue that for us, Sasha and uh, our our. And, and we, will, we will watch the video together. And then right at the end of the video, we will, we will say goodbye and close out the YouTube. Here we go. Yes, we
special announcements at this time? Special announcements? Thank you so much, everyone. Again, uh, we're going to be saying goodbye to those watching on YouTube. Thank you for joining us for the celebration of the life of Cuthbert Egerton Adamson. Uh, may he continually be a legacy in our memories and may his life live on perpetually in the lives that we live. And we look forward to the day when he will hear his name, when the trumpet sounds and Amen. the dead Christ shall arise first. To Amen. those of you, so long. Uh, God bless you until we meet again.